hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time i'm reaching you guys welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you we really appreciate you for your support and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one is quite interesting i just thought um, to share this one with you people i came across this one um uh, the late benson idahusa the wife um, just um, revealed just uh, uh, revealed something really shocking what she uh, idahusa left with her what idahusa left with her contrary to what uh uh, uh majority of persons believed that and that was what she had it's really really shocking what she has stated you know uh margaret idahosa um she's very very respected she's now currently the bishop of uh, the church of god mission international cgm ever since um her husband passed away she has um, really really um occupied that position very well she's uh, served in very great capacity and what we've noticed is that um, she's really got a lot of support she's got a lot of support from other clergies um, and uh, it's not just uh, uh, if you look at things she didn't just get those support like that one thing i believe is that is the legacy the husband left behind you know um, the bible says that um, a good name is better than riches a good name it's what it's it's you you can't you can't you can't compare it to anything else and also the impact the impact that he left you know his ministry really really um impacted a lot of lives there's no way you go around the country that um you don't hear you, you that, that you you would not um find people who have not heard about him um, ag bishop benson idahosa even internationally he's known very well well uh, uh margaret idahosa uh, Mama Margaret Idahosa has just um, dropped a shocking revelation that has um, left Nigerians in shock. What the bishop, the late archbishop, actually left behind for her. We'll bring you all of the details in a moment. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click on the like button. And if it's your first time, please um, hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Contrary to the notion that the late prolific Pentecostal preacher and founder of Church of God Mission International CGM, Archbishop Benson Ahusa left behind lots of wealth for his family after his death 23 years ago. The wife of the renowned cleric Archbishop Margaret Ahusa has revealed that her husband only left the sum of 42,000 naira in his bank account. Ahusa's wife revealed that at the just concluded CGM, mega conference theme focus on christ she was appreciating one of the late archbishop's son in the ministry bishop david oyedeku who she described as a great support to the family and the ministry since the death of her husband while expressing her profound gratitude to oyedeku specifically his support for the growth of the legacy of his father in the lord over the years Mama Margaret Idahosa noted that Bishop Oyedeko's generosity was second to none, even though he has been extending the hand of fellowship silently. When the Archbishop passed, Benson Idahosa University was just buffered. I met 42,000 naira in his account. That was all that was left for me, but the Bishop took it upon himself to be paying all the professors and teachers. It was two years. For two years, at the end of the month, he will fly in with the money. Who can do that if not one who is convinced and with the confidence in us and the ministry? But he did it. Nobody knows it. He does it quietly and goes, I want to open your mouth and begin to pray for this man of God. When I came from America, he called me and said, Mom, when you land Lagos, the jet will be waiting for you to take you to Benin. And true to the fact, I landed and the jet's and the jet I didn't buy, I didn't spend money. I don't know where it came from. It was parked at Moritala Mohammed Airport with red carpet. Anybody that says prosperity is not good, when he tastes small of the prosperity, he will change his mind, she added. Mama Idahosa said, I want to thank God for the life of Bishop Oyedeku. He's a son in the ministry and he has never proven otherwise. Each time I just call, 
I just called and said, can you be with me for two sessions? He said, Whenever you, whatever you say, mom, I'm ready. We want to say big thank you to him for honoring me. May God give you men and women who will increase you, who will bless you, and who will add to you in the name of Jesus. That is who he is to me, and that is who he is to the family and to the family of God. I know you know him, but I just want to tell you that he did what he did, and that is not up to the seed he sows in this ministry. Wow, this is very interesting to note. And we see Mama Idahosa right now, and then we see how, how she is right now, um, 23 years after her husband passed. And, and you know, like uh, uh, a lot of people have been arguing, or a lot of people have been speculating that um, she's actually living in the wealth of her husband and uh, right now she just revealed that it was just forty two thousand naira but anyways if we look at it this way forty two thousand naira um 23 years ago is still a lot of money but not really um what people thought or what people were expecting forty two thousand naira even in this uh present time where we live i don't there are some persons that are still not receiving up to forty two thousand naira a month so uh, it was a big money then, but like I said, not uh, what people were expecting that most probably millions were left for her and all of that. So she stated that uh, um, even the university, the Benson Idaosa University had just started and um, things at their early stage, you know, it's still, you are still using from other business to even support it. So it wasn't, probably it wasn't generating money there. So all people were thinking that um, she was living in a lot of money and all of that. It wasn't the case. She was just revealing how God has helped her, kept her these 23 years. And also the sort of support that God has planted there for her. And she took time to really appreciate Bishop David Oyedeko for being so supportive. And you know what I was saying at the initial stage that uh, people don't just rise up to support something actually moves them to do that and um, for bishop um, Oyedeko, i believe that um, is the the sort of blessing or um the the seed that benson idahosa sowed in his life you know see the way mama was referring to Oyedeko, that i want to appreciate god for um the late archbishop benson idahosa's son a son in the lord so uh Oyedeko sees Idahosa is his spiritual father. Idahosa really, really left a great landmark 23 years after his name is still being talked about and is still very, very much respected. Well, guys, let's hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click on the like button. And if it's your first time, please hit on the subscribe button. We really appreciate you. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.